Hey everyone, today's video is going to be a first impressions on the brand new Mecha Max line from Mecha Maxima. Now I have six products to try here today, but they had a full range launching on the 1st of August. If you guys want to know more about it, I will leave some information down below that you can go and investigate. They are launching with a full line. I'm not sure exactly how many products I'll put it on the screen somewhere, but it's something like 100 or 200 products, which is super duper exciting. So what I thought I'd do today is I started by doing my own base and brows. I will put all of the info on what's on my face right now in the down bar in case you guys were curious. I didn't do that on camera because I wanted the focus to be on these products. We're going to be talking about the price point, the colour pigmentation, and whether or not I think it's worth buying. I thought I'd do this video for you guys now because I just got the products, I'm super duper excited and if you guys want to get anything you can start making your wish lists now. So today I have six products to show you which I'm super duper excited about. Let me just rest this on my shoulder like a boombox. <laughs> I've got their bronzer, an eyeshadow palette, a liquid highlighter which I'm so excited to try, a mascara, a liquid lipstick and a regular lipstick. You guys might have already heard but I did just want to mention here that on the 3rd of August, so two days after the whole Mecha Max line launches, there will be a new Mecha Maxima store opening in Auckland. It's going to be on Queen Street which is so exciting. I did go into the Mecha Maxima in uh, Christchurch, I think it's Christchurch, and oh my gosh it was so freaking amazing so I'm so excited to have one in Auckland. So some of the products do carry the box package onto the product like the lipstick and the bronzer but some of them do have just plain black pla 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 packaging which I think is really classy as well. Alright so the first thing that we're going to be trying today is this and this is the Shimmer Shot Highlighting Wand and it looks like this like I said very sleek black packaging or they have really really bright packaging which I think they go really well together. So this is what the Shimmer Shot Highlighting Wand looks like very very simple and again it's just got that product name on the bottom. I was not expecting this large of an applicator but I think it's actually going to work really well. I'm just going to swatch it on my hand first just so we can sort of see what it looks like. Really pretty. I'm just going to pop a little bit on my cheekbones or a lot apparently. Apparently I don't know what a little bit is. I'm just going to pat that in. Looks Oh my god it looks so pretty. Alright so we've got before and after, I think it's really nice. It's actually quite natural, which I wasn't really expecting with the name like Shimmer Shot. Um, I was thinking it was going to be like, you know, wham bam, extremely, extremely intense. I mean, this is quite intense, but it's not over, over the top. And I think it's beautiful that it's more of a sheen. Like, I don't really think there's any shimmers in it. Um, it's just more of like a sheen product. Looks great on the nose as well. Oh my gosh, I'm loving this so far. I don't know the price of this off the top of my head, so I'm going to put it right here so that you guys can see, but I have looked at the pricing of this range, and it is way more inexpensive than I was expecting, I'm not going to lie. I was thinking that most of the products would be, you know, like $40 plus, but there are actually quite a few that are like in the 20 range or 30 range. Oh my god, this is so beautiful. Holy crap. I kind of wasn't expecting it to be this pretty because I don't really usually like like highlighting ones like this but I've never used one this amazing, I'm not even going to lie. Now I'm just going to powder, I'm using a full coverage powder, this is the Australis Fresh and Flawless just because I haven't got a mecha powder to use. I'm just going to pat it over gently because I don't really want to cover that too much. It's still shining through a little bit, yeah definitely more on this side, I think I applied more on this side of my face. The next product that we're going to try is the Sunlit Bronzer. This packaging though, it's so amazing. I have the shade Medium. I don't know if there are any darker shades. I'm guessing there will be, but this is what Medium looks like. It's really pretty and it does have a little MM or a little M stamped into it, if you guys can see. Now I'm fairly sure that this is $24. I cannot believe that price. So that's outrageous. This looks like that. It's not like OTT pigmented. But it is a really nice colour, it looks a lot like NARS Laguna bronzer and it has got a little bit of shimmer in it like Laguna so I am pretty excited. I'm just going to pick up a little bit because I'm super fair and I'm just going to place that kind of all over my cheeks today because I'm not going to use another blush. Um, I'm just going to use this but I'm just going to put it around my hairline and on my cheekbones. I don't really bronze down here because I'm so fair I feel like it makes it look like my foundation doesn't match especially in the winter time, like in the summertime I'll sort of bronze everywhere but in the winter I keep it to a minimum. I love this bronzer already, you can see it's kind of given my face a little bit of dimension, <laughs> a lot of dimension actually, and the thing that I like about it is it blended like a freaking dream, 
Um, it took me like no time at all to do. You can still see that amazing highlight popping through. I feel like I have like a really J-Lo glow right now using those two products. And the thing that I like is that the undertone is not too orange. Um, it might be picking up a little bit more orange on camera. I find that products do that, which is really frustrating. But in real life, it just looks like I've been sun-kissed. Alright, so the bronze is on and this is definitely a must-have. For $24, this is like the perfect colour for me as a fair skin person. But I can see that because it's called medium, you could definitely wear this up to like a tanned complexion. The next product is one that I opened yesterday and I nearly died. It is their eyeshadow palette and this is the Iphoria Vivid Impact Eye Palette. And I have the shade 226. And this is what the packaging on the inside looks like. It's just plain black with the embossed logo. It's not like sprayed on, it's like indented so it will last. And then on the back again, you've got all of the colours. They aren't named colours, which isn't really a huge deal, but if you're a YouTuber, sometimes it's nice to have names. But I don't really mind. Now, the thing that I really liked about this is when I opened it, there's no stupid sponge tip applicator, and the mirror is the entire top of the palette, which I thought was great. Like, so amazing, because there's nothing worse than opening up a palette in that whole area down there is a sponge tip. It's so annoying. So in here you get 10 eyeshadows, you get four sort of warm browns, four mauvey purples, and then two highlight shades. One is nude and what's the word? Matte. <laughs> and the other one is shimmery. They're pretty much the same shade. It's just one matte, one shimmery. The price point for this palette is $50, which makes each eyeshadow worth $5. All right, so I'm really quickly going to swatch all of the shades and then we can start applying. They feel nice. That's what the browns look like. So those are the first four shades. Don't ask me why I swatched here. This white shade was a tiny bit powdery when I swatched it. I did have to blow off a little bit of dust, but it is really nicely pigmented. Now for the mauve shades, again, feeling really pigmented. That's what they look like. Oh my gosh, those look so rich and amazing. So there are the purple shades. You can see that that first purple is like a tiny bit powdery. You can see some of the pigment just sitting on the skin, but other than that, they look amazing. Oh my gosh, you guys. I cannot wait to use this palette. My only thing that I want to note is that if you're buying this as like a complete palette, the only shade that it has that could be used in the crease pretty much is this one here. And it's not super dark and it's not completely matte. It is sort of like a satin shade. So if you were going to buy this as a complete one and only palette, it's probably not going to be it. But if you were buying this to supplement your collection, this would probably be a good choice. So I'm just applying the big skin tone shade here. I know I didn't swatch it or the one next to it, but I figured because they're like skin tone shades, they won't be super pigmented. They're just sort of there to set the eye. Um, I didn't see any point in swatching them. So I am going to be using that satin shade right there, the sort of medium satin brown. And I'm just going to put that through the crease. I personally don't mind satin or shimmery shades in the crease so I don't mind using this one but if you were like 100% matte or dye you would have to use another eyeshadow palette to create a look. The shade is nicely pigmented like I said it's not a super dark colour so you're not really going to get much built up past this um, it's not like a really deep brown but it is pretty. Now for the lid I don't know whether to do purple or brown if I do purple, then I can only use a nude lipstick, but if I do brown, then I can do either. But I don't want to do something I always do, so I might go in with the purple. So for our lid shade, I'm going to be taking this shade here, which kind of swatches as like a purpley taupe colour. And I'm just going to press that with my finger onto the lid. I always pack lid shades on with my finger because I feel like regardless of the brand, they don't apply as well with a brush. This one with the finger though, no primer, is going on really nicely. So that shade is really pretty. It's not showing up quite as vibrant as, as I was hoping, but I didn't use a base. But I am going to be taking the dark purple because that's not super duper shimmery. And I'm just going to take it on a small shader brush. And I'm just going to kind of pack that into the outer corner. Just to give this eye a little bit more dimension. I feel like there's not enough dimension in the eye look. Normally at this point, I would grab another palette and get like a dark brown and sort of deepen up the crease, but um, for this video I'm just going to be using this palette. So if you kind of think this eye look is maybe missing something, that's because this is all that I could do with the palette. Dark purple does have a little bit of fallout, it's getting onto my cheeks. So another thing just to keep in mind, you probably want to do this either with baking down or before you apply your foundation. Blending really easily, but the lid shade's kind of blending away to 
um, not to nothing, but I'm losing a little bit of the pigmentation there. I'm going to take that dark purple and I'm just going to pack it underneath my lower lash line. Just because I want it to be quite smoky down there. I'm going in with a little bit of this purple just on the lid to get a little bit more dimension, maybe a little bit more pigment. I don't really know what I'm doing here. I think that looks a little bit better. I don't know if you guys can see. Oh my god, the fallout is ridiculous. I don't know what's happened to this eye. I don't know if I smudged it or what, but I need to just clean it up so I'll be right back. I kind of got carried away and I started doing some stuff without you guys. I apologize. I'm just putting the white shade on the inner corner, that first white shade there. Just a little bit to brighten. Just getting a little bit of a smaller brush because I want the white shade to be quite intense in the inner corner. Because I know it can be. Yeah, there we go. I don't know if you guys can see that on camera, but it's nice and bright. I love a good bright inner corner. Especially when I smudge purple into my dark circle, which wasn't my finest moment. Final thoughts on the eyeshadow palette. I do really, really like it, but I think it's something that I'll need to play with a little bit more to give you guys a final opinion on. It's really nicely pigmented. The colours are really pretty. I think I might need to try it with a base and sort of play around a little bit. Like, I like the eye look, but I kind of think it's just sort of gone into this big blob. Like, there's not too much definition on the outer corner. Do you know what I mean? It's one of those eye looks where it's kind of just all one colour. And I don't know if it's the eyeshadow's fault or if it's my fault, but I will try it again and let you guys know. But I do like the way that it turned out nonetheless. Just went ahead and applied a little bit of black eyeliner because I don't have one from Mecca. And now we're going to go ahead and use their mascara. This is the IMAX Power Couple Mascara. I don't know if they have multiple mascaras or what. And I have the shade Power Black. I haven't opened this yet, so I don't know what's in here. Okie dokie. This is what it looks like. It's just gold packaging. If you can see, if it will focus. I just read the box because I thought when I opened it, I was like, huh, it has two ends. And it does because it's called the Power Couple Mascara. Duh, Olivia. Um, and it says, use the micro brush first to define and separate. And you use it for your lower lashes. And then it says, followed by the chubby end to build volume, length, and va va voom. So we're going to start off with this end and then move on to the normal end. Alright, so I'm just going to get the... Oh my god, it is so tiny. This is officially the smallest mascara brush I've ever used. Can you guys see that? It looks a lot like one that I've seen other YouTubers use, but I've never tried it. I think it might be by... Oh, it Cosmetics, maybe? Anyway, we're going to try this. Come in closer. Can you guys see? I'm just going to start with my lower lashes. It's grabbing them really well. Use the ugly mascara face. Now we're going to go in on the top lashes and just give them a coating because it tells me to, so I'm going to listen to the mascara. Alright, so that's what it looks like just with the baby wand on the upper lashes. I think it looks really pretty, like if you were going for a natural look, this actually could probably be enough for you. Obviously, ow, I'm not going for a natural look, so I'll use the other one as well. So this one was supposed to define and separate, which I think it did, like I have eyelashes now. And now if I go in with the other side, da -da -da. oh, that's not what I was expecting, okay, I was expecting it to come the other way, so let me try that again. Okay, this has got a lot, a lot of product on it, and I'm kind of terrified. This is a very messy mascara. Okay, let me just shake this, because it is really, really messy. This has got a whole lot of product on it, I don't know if that's my fault for opening it the wrong way, but it is very, very product heavy, so I'm going to be really gentle with this because I don't want to ruin my lashes. I don't know if you guys can see, but like up by the base where it meets the stick, yeah, you can see. Look at how much product that is. I'm going to be really careful not to let that touch my lashes because I don't want them to be like one lash. So that's the eye done. Hopefully you can sort of see the difference. I think it's really nice, but do you need two mascaras to get this look? Probably not, but I do like the idea, do you know what I mean? Like some mascaras that I have will give me this effect with like just one mascara other than like two ends. I don't know. I think it's nice. Would I use a little brush on my upper lashes every day? Probably not. Final thoughts on the mascara. It is a good... So my final thoughts... So I wanted to... Actually, I think I'm going to go ahead and use the little side and see if I can declump because my lashes have gone kind of clumpy. I think if you guys like a really full lash look, like slightly clumpy, chunky kind of lashes, I think you would like this mascara. But if you like really separated eyelashes like I do, 
this may not be the mascara for you. I'm going to come up real close for final thoughts on the mascara, but hopefully you guys can see. I guess you can get a good look at the eye look here. But they're very, very, very chunky. Like, if you guys like a chunky lash, or like a really, like, bold, thick, voluminous, but borderlining, if not already, quite um, clumpy mascara, this is for you. If you don't like that, then I wouldn't recommend this mascara. Everything else so far, though, I think is great. The eyeshadow palette needs a little bit more practice with me, but... Yeah, I don't know how I feel about the mascara. It's not really my favourite. Now I want to show you the lipstick because we're not going to be trying it today. I have the shade Freedom Fighter and it's a high definition one. I don't know if that's the finish. But again, the packaging is stunning. And what you do is you push down on the colour label and the lipstick actually comes out like that. So I'm just going to be swatching this one on my hand because as you can imagine, a purple and a coral aren't really my cup of tea. I'm just going to swatch it really nicely pigmented that was just a swipe and then a swipe back I do like that scent oh I haven't got it on my septum ring it doesn't really have a scent um the packaging feels quite lightweight but not cheap at all I really love this so lipstick looks like it's going to be a winner it looks kind of like a maybe like a MAC cream lipstick or maybe an amplified sort of formula for reference but this is a colour that I'll definitely wear, just not with this eye look. And now finally, the moment that I've been waiting for, the A Lipster Liquid Lipstick. Why did I turn Australian there? And it's in this shade Skinny Latte. And I managed to completely ruin this packaging, which makes me so sad. But it comes in a plain black tube, which I think is really, really pretty. It just says Mecca Max on there, like all of the other products, if you can see that. And then on the top, you've just got the colour swatch there. Which I think is a nice touch. I haven't even opened this yet or even like touched it, but. Oh, okay. It's got a very long wand. As you guys can see, very long and slim. Just kind of has that cosmetic smell. Maybe even like skincare, but not like a particularly um, sweet smell. It's quite thin. Pretty colour. A little bit more brown than I was expecting, but we'll use it anyway. Looks like it might be slightly sheer, but we'll try it out and I'll let you know how it goes. By the way, my lips for once, like, not dry at all. I've been using that lip mask that I got from my career haul. I'll leave it linked up down below the haul if you want to check it out. But that lip mask is, like, so great. Anyway, let's apply this. I'd liken this formula to the Lime Crime formula or the Colourpop formula. It feels like it's really liquidy uh, and smooth. It is kind of like transferring when I push my lips together though, which I don't love, but I can deal with. I lied, this colour is the tits. I love it. Um, on the lips, it's dried down to a comfortable matte. I don't know if it's transferring anymore. No, it's not. But when I was applying it, it was transferring and becoming slightly sheer, but now that it's mattifying down, it's not transferring, which is really, really great. But yeah, this is Skinny Latte, and I really like it. The formula, I do like. Um, it is just like a little bit, not hard to apply, but you need to take your time while you're applying it. It's not kind of one of those liquid lips that you could just slap on. Not a lot of them are, but I just did want to let you guys know that. Again, the price will be here so that you know how much it costs. But yeah, I do really like it. The colour is nice. I think it will be possibly drying. It is sticky, which is weird for like a really thin one. Usually those are really dry, but it does feel slightly sticky. Not as sticky as an Australis one, kind of like a Jeffree Star, but it feels lighter on the lips. Like it feels like I haven't got anything on, but I will let you guys know in the down bar whether or not this dried out my lips. Like normally I don't mind because I know they're going to be drying, but I will let you guys know if it is a drying one or not. Alright, so those are all of the products that I have to try for you today. I'm really quickly going to give you my must-have recommendations from this line. I got six products to try and I've tried five of them in this video. There are three that I would recommend for you guys, like 100%. The first product that I recommend is the Shimmer Shot because, I mean, I don't really need to say more than this highlight. Like, it's amazing and I love that it's a liquid. It stays like this even after having powders on top. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. My second recommendation is, of course, the bronzer because I think that this colour is so stunning. This is the Sunlit Skin Bronzer. 
and I just think it's such a beautiful colour and I'm guessing it would work really well in this shade for up to a medium sort of like tanned skin tone. I just think it's really really pretty. It blended like a dream and it looks a lot like Nars Laguna on my skin. And finally I really like this liquid lip. I've had it sitting on my lips for a little bit now. I've just done some stuff since the last clip um, and I really really like the way that it feels. It is slightly sticky but that tells me that it's going to last really really well. Um, and of course the colour is really beautiful. It is like a flat matte, so if you don't like that kind of liquid lip, maybe give this a pass, but I do think it is stunning for what I like to wear in a liquid lipstick. So that's everything for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it shows me that you guys enjoy this content and it helps more people find my videos. If you are new watching this, don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I put up a new video every single week and it's usually beauty or lifestyle related. Once again, I want to thank Mika Maxima for sending me this line. I really appreciate it and I think you've done an amazing job with the products. I'm going to go. Thank you guys again for watching. I love you all so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!